I feel like the most important thing has been stolen from me and I can't get it back. Lori Ann Herb still struggling to come to terms with the sudden loss of her daughter, Ashley. She took my baby. While 27-year-old Catherine McLoon has been charged with furnishing alcohol to minors in this East Medford home over the weekend, McLoon faces no charges for Ashley Long's death at this point. Someone needs to take responsibility for this, and I believe it's the person that, you know, my ch that wouldn't pick my child up and all these other kids up and took them to her house. Justin Earp, Ashley's stepfather, can't understand how it could happen. In fact, he says it could have happened to anyone's daughter. He describes Ashley as a genuinely good kid. A gifted artist who loved animals, fashion, and Justin Bieber. But also a teen who wanted to be liked and who made a mistake. Ashley had told her parents she was going to a friend's house that Saturday night. She said we're going to be at a slumber party and it's supposed to be two blocks away. They're supposed to hang out in a hot tub, watch movies, have popcorn. But instead, that group of Eagle Point middle schoolers took a ride from 27-year-old Catherine McLoon, the sister-in-law of one of Ashley's friends. She showed up with the alcohol and, and her friends told us they drink they drink back to Medford. Had these parents known she was going to McLoon's home, they say they would have stopped her. Police say Ashley died after taking a hit of helium and drinking and smoking marijuana. They tell NBC5 News they believe the helium killed her, but the autopsy is not yet complete. And while Please hearing that too. devastates Ashley's mother, she doesn't blame her. She blames the adult, Catherine McLoon. She needs to be put away for manslaughter. And A grieving family seeking answers. They tracked down the other girls who were there, and what they found out about that night left them horrified. What I'm not getting is how can she be giving these 14-year-old girls these drinks while there's 20-year-old men, probably predators, in the house. While this family cannot bring Ashley back, they don't want her death to be in vain. I want kids to learn from this. It took one time. Ashley did that one time. and She didn't get to come home. Laura Kavanaugh, NBC5 News. Too. And then this on the back, too. This is one of the... Mm -hmm. What is that? Like...